Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we're in the F-16C today and we're looking at the manual flight instrumentation. So if we lose our HUD for some reason, which does happen in real life, it does happen in DCS, we're going to go to our backup steam gauges and we have our main flight instrumentation here and framing here and it's really well set out. The whole plane is well set out. But again, if we lose our HUD, then we can fly the plane all the way down to the ground pretty much with just focusing on this area here so we'll start with our airspeed and our mac indicator we have airspeed here in hundreds of knots that's indicated airspeed and this needle here will show the relevant airspeed we go from 80 knots up to 850 our mac is shown by essentially this needle here and this gauge his moving gauge here and the mac runs from 0 0.5 mac up to 2.2 which is our max airframe speed. We have a velocity never exceed indicator here hatched in red. This is the max airframe limit. We should not exceed that under any circumstances. As well as that, we have an adjustable green triangle carrot here. So we can use the set index knob, either the mouse scroll wheel or left click, click and drag. And we can set that. So for instance, if we had a certain loadout of fuel tanks and bombs and whatnot, and it was advisable not to say exceed uh, 450 knots IAS like that there we've got our carrot there so we can use that as a visual identifier not to exceed that speed next we have our altimeter this is a servo pneumatic barometric altimeter our main needle here shows our altitude in hundreds of feet thousands can be read on the rolling dials here so we're currently registering about 60 feet the gauge will span from negative 1,000 feet up to positive 80, 80,000 feet. To zero the altimeter, we will zero in inches mercury here. The pressure, currently 29.92. We change it with this knob, mouse scroll wheel, or left click and drag. And we can zero like thus. The gauge is electrical primary and pneumatic secondary. And we can change between modes here we can go electric off or pneumatic left click or right click depending which mode we want to roll in next is our alpha or angle of attack gauge here this is a ladder type gauge it's span you can see we're just above zero at the moment one degree angle of attack it goes up to positive 32 degrees negative 32 degrees and the good thing about this gauge is that it's in degrees rather than units. Planes like the Tomcat with units of angle of attack are very hard to follow. This being degrees is very good. It's also color coded as well as you'll see uh, when you use it. Next is our ADI, our attitude director indicator and it's probably best to get in the air to show using this one so stand by. So this shows the attitude of our aircraft so that's the pitch and that's the roll. The information is supplied from direct from the INS, the inertial navigation system. It also shows our your slip so if I were to unpause here we can clearly identify our roll we've got what 30 degrees there 60 degrees 90 degrees there we can also see our pitch so 10 degrees positive 20 degrees positive and so on also if I were to introduce your your slip in terms of the rudder you can see at the bottom here in this gauge here we can see our your slip there like that I can also adjust the pitch trim with this knob here, mouse scroll wheel or left click and hold, and you can see I can trim as necessary. It's also prudent to point out that if we were using the ILS, the instrument landing system on this aircraft, we would have a vertical uh, localizer line and a horizontal glide slope line uh, with extra warning flags, but we'll look at that in the ILS landing video, not now. Next we've got the VVI, the Vertical Velocity Indicator. This tells us in thousands of feet per minute if we are climbing or if we are diving and has a maximum of plus or minus 6,000 feet per minute. So you can see if I climb like so. You also get to see the banding, uh, the color banding on the AOA indicator there. Next we've got a HSI, a Horizontal Situation Indicator. This is if you like a top-down view of our aircraft and this is used for navigation now I'm going to go through this fully in the navigation videos I don't want to duplicate that data so we'll go over that fully in the navigation video next if we unlock and we look up here we have a secondary or a backup artificial 
horizon here with basic roll and pitch it also can cage it with left click and pull and we can adjust trim with mouse scroll wheel in terms of fuel we have fuel flow here and we have a multi-use fuel gauge here but we will look at that in a fuel management video next we have the angle of attack indexer so this is used mainly for landing and it allows us to ensure that we get the correct angle of attack or alpha for landing which is between 11 and 13 degrees so if we are on speed as it's known and at the correct angle of attack we will have a circle shown in the middle here if our angle of attack is below 11 degrees and decreasing then we have this guy that you can see illuminated here and if we are above our angle of attack of 13 degrees and increasing at an angle of attack i.e we're too slow we'll have a red chevron shown here and finally we've got our magnetic compass down here it's kind of hard to read you need to kind of get your head down a bit so it's what 030 zero, 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 about zero four zero roughly if we were just to compare that to the hard magnetic tape we've got zero three six so yeah to give you an idea of your heading there that's it for the flight instruments i hope that helps and see you later